Now tonight, dozens of Belmont University students came together to stand behind the parents of Jillian Ludwig. She was the Belmont freshman shot and killed while she was on a run back in November. Yeah, her accused killer was deemed mentally incompetent to stand trial and let out into society. Lawmakers are now trying to close that loophole. Our Marissa Sulik was there today as students begged those in charge to make them feel safer. As Matt and Jessica Ludwig took their seats at today's House Criminal Justice Committee meeting, so did a group of loving and supportive students. And you've got half this room full of young people that go to Belmont University because one of their classmates. That classmate is 18-year-old Jillian Ludwig. Her mom brought a picture of her daughter today to put in front of lawmakers. If it's about money, find money in the budget. How much is a human life worth? She is asking them to pass a bill that would have prevented her death and get her accused killer the help he needed, along with her friend Eddie Whiney. Jill laid on the ground bleeding out for around an hour before anyone found her. And Jillian's roommate, Livia Mahalovic. After college, I will likely move on, but you all will continue to live here. Nashville is your city, Tennessee is your state, and it is literally your job to keep it as safe as it can be. The bill before this committee would spend $2.1 million to put people mentally incompetent to stand trial in facilities to get help. It would also restrict their access to guns and find a path back to society. It's a lot for young college students to deal with and process. Students at Belmont have become fearful of the area. Some even left to, ret to return home, all because of the flaw in this legislation. But Jillian's parents see their strength, research, and support for their girl they knew for a short but impactful time. We love them. We love her friends. We love the support. Um, you know, they're like family now. We call them the Belmont kids, but these kids are more than kids. I mean, they have stepped up to organize, you know, advocacy sessions and, you know, just raise awareness for this. This bill will go next to the House Finance Committee. It still has to make its way through committees on the Senate side. From Cordell Hall, Marissa Sulek, WSMV4.